Thank you. Hey, guys. Pretty bummed out one of us is going to get cancer now, but um, okay. <laughs> Hi there, we're Hell Yeah. I'm Katie Guthrie. This is Mike Hughes. Uh, as Gillian said, uh, we work together on site-specific illustration installations, which really is the posh way of saying we make murals. Um, so today we're going to talk about big drawings on big walls and why we like big drawings on big walls. And for that, I'll hand you over to Michael. Okay. Thanks very much. Nice to meet everybody. Um, so to begin with, we're going to just show a couple slides of our own work. And then after that, it's just going to be other artists who do stuff that we're really inspired by. So it would be cool if it was all us, but it's really, really good stuff. So we thought we'd show you. So first up, this is a show that we did in Aberdeen at Peacock Visual Arts. That's uh, Katie up the ladder there. And there's lots of uh, hot dogs and macaroni and ice cream and noodles and all kinds of stuff all mixed together. Uh, next up, this is uh, myself. And I'm working on a commercial project that was for Bar Boston. And we just did a little interior uh, scene for them. And that was great. So Basically, what we spend most of our time doing is we're either doing a gallery-style show, and you can see it's like real colorful, kind of good fun time, good vibes, or we're doing like more commercial work, which will be for you know, bars or, or events or, or whatever. But um, the way that we got to this point and the stuff that we're doing right now is that about a year and a half ago, we were kind of sitting around, and we're both big fans of uh, lowbrow art, and we've been talking for a while about, you know, we'd really like to do like a drawing-based show, um, something which was real simple, um, fairly easy to understand and just a bit of a kind of DIY experiment. So uh, kind of half blagged a bit of a space in a, uh, in a, in a college corridor, um, which we've got no idea how we managed to get. We got sat in front of a manager and it was double booked, but we managed to sweet talk him at the end and we got the space and it was great. So we spent about five nights, uh, when there's a bar next door as well, so lots of people like wandering back and forth. Uh, drawing away with, with a few other folks we kind of wrangled together and um, at first you know like these things don't actually always look amazing when they're first going up you know it was uh, a lot of people kind of questioning whether we should even be there you know you know are you guys you know you supposed to like are we supposed to be up on stage just now you know <laughs> ever get here but um yeah but it, when we actually had the show we um we got some posters and prints and zines and badges and all kinds of stuff and it was a real experiment, we didn't know what was going to happen, but we were really surprised that everything was taken, there wasn't a scrap left, there were so many amazing conversations that we had with people. Uh, we had a little donations box and we initially thought like, okay, like maybe we'll cover the cost of materials, but we ended up having enough money to buy beer for like the whole month, so that was really good, you know, we're totally supposed <laughs> about that, so beer and pizza is a, is a big thing for us, clearly. But, um, you know, after that we, we sort of realised, we are like, okay, well, this has actually had like one of the best reactions that we've done. You know, we've had lots of like fine art shows in the past, both having a painting background. You know, we need to do more of this. And we actually realized that it kind of like reached out to the audience that we wanted to kind of participate with a little bit more, and it was just a lot more straightforward. So we um, we kind of we figured out, all right, well, we're going to put on some more shows, and we're going to see how this is going to wrap for more people. And more and more, we realized, you know, what we actually want to see other artists doing this, and we want to see more in Scotland. And the more we know now, the more we realize that it's possible, but I'm going to pass it over to Katie just now to let you know what would be good to see from the other side of things, like not the artists, who are the people that have got spaces and why they should you know, let people come in and commission artists. So there you go. Thanks, Mike. That was great. Um, yeah, so basically we want to see big drawings on walls everywhere. It's something you don't see that much in Scotland. You do in like, places like Glasgow, Rico, you do see it in some places, but it's not that prevalent. I mean, my favorite thing when I'm traveling the world is going and finding street art and traveling and going into little nooks and crannies and finding amazing pieces which are out there for free. You don't have to pay. You can just wander past it and look at it. So what we want to see, you know, everybody sees a hotel that's been disused. It's sitting. Nobody can afford to rent it. The private sector aren't just going to give it to anybody. It's just sitting there doing nothing. We want to see people in the private sector giving artists these disused spaces and saying, hey, you know what? Do something big on the wall. Let's have a festival. Let's just go wild with this. And what will happen if you know more artists go out there and actually paint big things on big walls? It'll engage the public, and people will get excited. One of my favorite things when we work in the public and draw on the outside is people actually come up to you and say, "Hey, what are you doing? Why are you drawing an octopus with a top hat on and a monocle?" You know, they get excited, and I think. One thing we do focus on is that a lot of people are still really intimidated by art galleries and art as a topic. If you're surrounded by creative people, you don't really think about it that much because it's the normal. But to people who aren't really involved in creativity that much, they can be kind of intimidating spaces. 
Whereas if you're out in the street just doing it, people can wander up to you and they can ask you questions and they don't have to be scared or intimidated. And it's also kind of cool because you'll see a slide soon of an artist called Dulk. This is a guy, James Early. So this is Dulk and he did this piece. And you can see the people watching it. And what happens when people watch the creation of a piece, they feel more sentimentally involved with that piece. And they start to take a pride in that piece. Hey, this is in my city. I spoke to that artist. He told me why he was doing it or why she was doing it. I even put some input into it, you know? And they start to feel kind of proud. This is in my city. I watched it happen and it's on my doorstep. These are two artists, Low Bros. Their stuff's phenomenal. If you get a chance to look them up, you definitely should. And again, this is another cool thing about doing things out in the public. The public can see the physicality of creating a piece of this nature. I think a lot of people just see a piece appear in the night, like we sneak out our hoods up in spray cans and just stick it up and there it is. But it's actually quite a difficult process and it can be quite grueling and it's really actually, you know, quite difficult working to that scale because there's very little margin for error. It's straight up. So people seeing that kind of the creation of a piece is exciting as well and it's something that we get really excited about. There's a, a great piece coming up actually by a guy Flem, a few of you might have heard him already in London. He's got a paintbrush on a stick on a cherry picker and look at the size of that piece. I mean, you can't fail to look at that and be slightly blown away by it. If you aren't, then I'm worried about you. Uh, <laughs> but to conclude, basically, what the most important thing, this sounds really cheesy, but the most important thing is about having fun. Look how stoked this guy is. I mean, it's about creating art. We make art because it's fun. We want you to have fun looking at it. And the more artwork there is in the walls for people to you know, love and get happy about it, the more pride they'll have in their cities, I think. So yeah, I thank you for listening to us. I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs>